Wednesday morning, this all started when the uh, President Bazoum's own security forces began to detain him in the presidential palace. We believe now, several days later, four days later, it seems as if he is still being held there, but he is has been allowed to receive phone calls from other world leaders, so he's believed to be in good health. But after that, uh, that same evening, a number of military and presidential guard services leaders appeared on state-run television here saying that they had ousted the president and they were in control. Fast forward about one day later, and one person emerged that he is the head of those presidential guard service. He appeared again on state-run television here in military fatigues, claiming to be the new leader of this country. Now, amidst all of this, this military council has dissolved the Constitution, they've closed the country's borders, and they've closed the airspace, so no flights are coming or going until at least late next week. Uh, at this point, it seems as if that today there are not a lot of protests on the street. We saw protests in favor of the president who was being detained. The second day, though, we saw more, slightly more violent protests, more people on the streets. They were burning vehicles in front of President Bazoum's party headquarters, throwing rocks. We even saw in some cases they were confronting politicians there. As of today, we have not heard of any large protests.